Alrighty, everybody, so this is like an extended story of the war campaign. Not really story related, but it involves the war campaign and the honor bound reputation for you guys as Horde to go ahead and uh, create some outposts within the Alliance territories of Tiergard Sound in Kulturas, Dressfar, as well as Stormsong Valley. There's a couple of quests that you can pick up from the honor bound reputation vendor just outside where your war campaign battleship is located which you can find here, and there's a couple of items that you will be able to purchase from this vendor for Wolfsten, Swiftwind Post, uh, Stone Fist Watch, Mudfisher Cove, Windfall Cavern, Hillcrest Pasture, and Stone Tusk Watch. You'll be able to find these once you have reached a certain um, uh, amount of reputation with the Honorbound, and once you have collected those items, you will be able to uh, do some missions that will give you an item. Uh, you'll be able to do some missions from your mission table, that will give you an item to uh, go ahead and turn in a quest to Nathanos Blightcaller, which will give you all of these outpost quests. So we're going to go ahead and claim all of the additional flight paths that you don't just get from uh, randomly traveling around. These are flight paths that require you to hit a specific reputation mark with the Honorbound, purchase them from the rep vendor, do the mission. Uh, once your followers have completed the mission, you'll be given an item to turn into Nathanos to now go ahead and adventure. Uh, out into the wild to go ahead and claim these specific outposts. Without further ado, let's go ahead and adventure out. Okay, so the first location that we're going to be going to is in Tiergard Sound. This is for Stonefist Watch, and uh, I have no clue how these quests work. I'm just hoping you have to just click on the banner and you claim it and you get a nice little flight path with a couple of vendors and NPCs around here. So as you guys can see, it is currently empty. I'm going to go ahead and click on the flag, claim this outpost within Tiergard Sound, and now, with that being said, all of these little creatures and NPCs are coming into play. Go ahead and click on the flight path. We have a new flight path. We have a new vendor for repair purposes, I believe. That is uh, definitely true. Uh, we get some peons and stuff working about. We got a little bit of a uh, horde flavor, horde flare going in here as well. I've got an innkeeper as well for this uh, little Strength location who does have uh, some goods for sale. And of course, we have an outpost commander that we can now turn in this quest to, uh, who actually does nothing at this moment in time, but hopefully this outpost comes into use later on in the storyline. Otherwise, this is simply just going to be a location that's extra for us to go ahead and fly around. So without further ado, let's get into the next outpost. Alrighty, outpost number two, and the second and only outpost in Tiergard Sound um, is uh, Wolf's Den. So without further ado, let's go ahead and click on the Horde flag, claim this little outpost with all the NPCs now rushing in to the charge and uh, of course to the call. Uh, first things first, of course, you want to go ahead and grab the flight path, which is the main reason why you want these little outposts. You got your Orc peons uh, huddled up everywhere. You got a little cave over there. Uh, you got a quest to turn in inside here. Go ahead and do that first. And I believe this place, it doesn't have an innkeeper, I don't know of yet, but it might be in one of these buildings, um, it does actually have quests. However, these are additional wanted quests that you can go ahead and take advantage of. Have nothing to do with the storyline, just basically a way to outsource yourself uh, within this zone and uh, another farming of AP matter. So you can basically pick up these quests here. They're wanted quests, again, they have nothing to do with the actual storyline. They just want to play. So you've got adventuring supplies, and then here's where the innkeeper is. Uh, with the innkeeper, regular vendor goods, and uh, pretty much orc peons guarding the ins and outs of this little area. And let's go ahead and adventure on into the next one. Alright, so with two regards sound completed, we are now moving our way into Jurassic with the first one being Mudfisher Cove. And uh, let's go ahead and click on the banner and see what awaits for us at Mudfisher Cove. Probably some fishing type NPCs, I believe. Oh, we get the repair vendor right here, as you guys can see. Normal repairy supplies. You get the flight master, of course. You got an innkeeper with the regular innkeeper supplies. You got the outpost commander that you're going to be able to turn in that quest to. And it looks like that's about it for Mudfisher Cove. Not too much going on here, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright, so we've now arrived to the second outpost within uh, Dressvar, the second and final outpost, uh, Swiftwind Post. Go ahead and uh, click on the banner and see what arrives here. Probably the same as it's been thus far. So we've got uh, Torn, High Mountain Torn, it looks like, that are uh, traveling here. They're actually just regular Torn, I think. Yeah, they don't have the uh, the High Mountain Tribe type of gear. 
But that's the outpost commander. We've got the innkeeper here with the regular innkeeper good. Of course, what we always want is the flight master. And we've also got some guards and a vendor that has some trade goods for sale. But other than that, that's about it. Let's get to the next one. Alright, so the remaining three outposts are all in Storm Song Valley. We're going to be starting off with the uh, utmost at Windfall Cavern. Go ahead and click on the banner. A wait for all of the NPCs to arrive. Looks like we got a plethora of different types of NPCs on this one. We got orcs, we got torrents, we got trolls. Go ahead and uh, hit up that innkeeper who's Glory arrived first. Speak, Normal friend. goods. Get the outpost commander who we can turn into quest to. Got a couple of uh, horde type of guards to get the trade goods and just a normal shenanigans. Actually, this one got a cooking Watch supply vendor as well. Uh, so an, a little bit of extra, extra needs and extra usage at this outpost. Uh, but of course, what we want is that flight path. All right, next up, Hillcrest Pasture. Probably the largest outpost that you are going to be claiming because there's already some pre-built goddamn buildings here. Holy shit, fam. All right, let's see what we got cooking on here. A lot of NPCs going to be joining us here. Um, without further ado, let's just see what we've got. Get some pre-built buildings that are just not really getting used at this moment. Um, we got some... Okay, there we go. Never mind. The NPCs just took freaking forever to get here. All right, so here's the commander. Got in, uh, oh, we got our horde banner all day, every day. So we got innkeeper. Selling a regular innkeeper ting. And then that other building over there. Of course, we got the Orc Peons just helping uh, protect the area. And of course, this little area. So yeah, we are using the buildings. These guys just weren't here a couple seconds ago. You've got to the uh, the trade good vendor and a stables master at this one, which is pretty nice and uh, interesting. All right, one more to go. We have arrived. The final outpost, Stone Tusk Watch. We're now in another cave. Just seems the uh, the uh, horde can't handle being seen and want to try to be secret about their outposts within the Alliance areas. So, as always, turn in that final quest with your outpost commander. Sadly, he just does not want it. There we go. Get that innkeeper. Innkeeper tings. Uh, we've also got a blacksmithing vendor. And anything else going on here? I really don't think so, except for the, uh, the flight master. I got the flight master, show you guys the flight master in the last place, but I mean he was just on top of the hill, and that's pretty much it. That is the end of our war campaign adventures for the horde. And hopefully we do this on the Alliance soon. Because I gotta level up an Alliance character. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Post down below, check out that description box, and have a wonderful day.